Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly winter dinners. If you are new here, I share three recipes each week that are new to us. And then of course, I hope new to you as well. And they are always going to be winners. That's why I call this winter dinners. Our first recipe tonight is a copycat recipe of Wendy's chili. So the weather is starting to change here. It's still hot, don't get me wrong, but things are starting to change. And I think possibly ragweed may be blooming, but Stephen's allergies are starting to give him a fit. And he was like, I'm in the mood for soup. I wasn't planning on doing this one tonight, but since he was kind of in the mood for it, that's what we're doing. There's very minimal chopping in today's recipe, but I am going to use my little handy dandy chopper to chop up our green bell pepper, our onion, and our celery. So this recipe does not call for garlic. Gasp. <gasps> How dare they? We're gonna add garlic. Yes, we are. So I'm gonna turn our large Dutch oven to about medium high heat and let it heat up before we add in our ground beef. So I can feel the heat coming off of this. It's ready. Let's add in about a tablespoon of olive oil to the bottom. And I've got extremely lean ground beef. This is 93.7, so we're not gonna have to drain this when we're done. We're also gonna add in all of our veggies. I'm gonna add in my garlic too, but I'm gonna wait till closer to the end when our ground beef is almost done. Again, the recipe does not call for this, but you know how much we love our Auntie Nono's. Just gonna add in a little bit, maybe a teaspoon. Now let's add in our garlic. Now that our ground beef is cooked up, we're gonna start adding everything else in. We need a can of Rotel or, you know, the generic Rotel. 28 ounces of stewed tomatoes. A 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. A can of pinto beans, and you don't want to drain these. And the same with our kidney beans, don't drain them beforehand. Lastly, we're gonna add in a pack of chili seasoning mix. And just stir this and bring it up to a bowl. Y'all see what's happening right now? Someone had a request. This is from our little Charlie Brown garden. If you haven't been around for a while, we had a pretty pitiful little <laughs> garden. And he's gonna add that in. Go ahead. Now that this has come up to a boil, I am gonna turn it down to about medium low. And I'm gonna put the lid on it. And we're gonna let it simmer. The recipe says for an hour, in all honesty, it's probably gonna simmer for like maybe 45 minutes just while our cornbread is in the oven. So if you've never seen my cornbread recipe, I'm gonna link it below. I'm not gonna go through all of it right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and get cornbread in the oven. So at the very end of it cooking, you're supposed to add in about a tablespoon of white vinegar. I totally forgot to do this on the stove, but we'll just add it in now. There you go. You got cheese. Are you happy? I'm ready to get warmed up. 
It's gonna be one of those warm up meals. Uh -huh. Nice and toasty. I know. It's gonna be good. Mm. Oh yeah, yes. Ooh, that vinegar. Nice little flavor enhancer there. I yeah, like that. I, I thought that was kind of strange, but. Mm. Really good, really, really, really good. I like that it's a little soupy because yeah. I was kind of craving soup yeah. for today. So yeah, you didn't want it too thick anyway. I'm glad so. it's, it's rather soupy. Okay. Mm. And while he takes a bite of that. Big chunks of tomatoes. Big fan here of that. That's really good. I was gonna tell y'all, I used up the last of our buttermilk that we had on hand and we had low fat buttermilk. I've never made my cornbread with low fat buttermilk and I probably will never do it again. It just was very crumbly, more so than usual, but I just didn't want it to waste, so. So, I know this is Wendy's copycat, and we did change it up just a little bit, but y'all, this is so much better than Wendy's chili. And I don't taste the vinegar. He said he can just tell there's something different, but I can't taste the vinegar. I don't when know you, what he's talking about. Yeah, when you add the vinegar in with the tomato, it kind of gives that like uh, ketchup kind of flavor to okay. it. Yeah, and in my regular um, chili that I make, I use ketchup, so that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It's okay. really good. Okay. Very good. Lou, what is it? You already had cheese. You want some cornbread? No. You. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hold on, Gracie Lou. I'm gonna give you some cornbread. You want some? Okay. She loves cornbread too, y'all. She's a southern kitty. <laughs> Did you get it all? That's it. <laughs> hey y'all, it's the second night of the week and I don't have on any makeup. It's been one of those days. I've gotten a lot done today, but getting ready was not one of them. And now it's time to make dinner. Steven is still not feeling well. He's really not up to filming tonight, but honestly, I don't need his help filming tonight because tonight is like a mix it all up put it in a baking dish, stick it in the oven kind of night, which is exactly what I want. So tonight is a twist on a tater tot casserole. We love any type of tater tot casserole in this house. And this one is very comfort foodish and it's a twist on chicken pot pie. This is called chicken tot pie. Love it. So you could definitely use a rotisserie chicken for this, but I had some chicken tenders on hand. So I just went ahead and baked those. Those are now just got out of the oven and I'm just gonna chop those up and mix it all together with all the ingredients, put it in a baking dish, put the tater tots on top, call it a day. Let's do it. So you could shred this up or you could just cut it like I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cut it into kind of bite-sized pieces. And just in case you're wondering what I seasoned my chicken with, I used Auntie Nono's Surprise Surprise. And I also used a little bit of paprika. Everything is literally going in one bowl and we're mixing it all together with the exception of the tater tots. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this chopped chicken in here. You want about four cups of chopped chicken. I'm gonna chop up the rest of it and then I'll be back. Okay, so my chicken is here. We're gonna add everything to it. I've got a can of cream of chicken soup. Steven joined us after all. I've got a half a cup of sour cream. Two thirds a cup of milk. We're gonna use this whole bag of mixed veggies. You need 16 ounces. We need one teaspoon of dried thyme. Ooh, this might be a little bit more, but that's gonna be okay. We're gonna add in about a teaspoon of salt and about a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Lastly, we're just gonna add in about a cup of shredded cheese. Tell everybody, say mama gave me cheese. She already had some cheese. I just had to show y'all so I could prove it. <laughs> now we just mix all of this together and we'll put it in our baking dish. What are you doing, babe? Spray it good. Did. Okay, so let's dump this mixture into the bottom of this dish. Just like that. 
Now the recipe calls for 32 ounces of tater tots. I don't know if I'll need all 32 ounces, but we're just gonna cover this in the tater tots. Now some of you may want me to do this right here and line them all up perfectly, but let me assure you, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> I never do it. That just seems like too much time. So we're just gonna spread them out in an even layer. Okay, so I just looked at the recipe and it said to line your tater tots in neat little rows. Oops. My oven is preheated 375. This is gonna go in for 45 to 50 minutes and then it's gonna be time to eat. Definitely get that thyme yeah. flavoring in there, which is really good. It goes well with the chicken. Yeah. I love the creaminess of the uh, the filling. Yeah, it's really good. I <sighs> love that. It's very much like a chicken pot pie. It, it is. It's really flavorful and very much what I needed on this stuffy <laughs> day for me. Uh, comfort food. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And Cole is here tonight. He's never here tonight. Cole, do you give this one or two thumbs up, either or? I give this a two. Oh, he gives it a two, y'all. Mm -hmm. This is a good one. I've already tasted it. Stephen was doing something, so I went ahead and tasted it, and it's so good. It tastes just like a chicken pot pie, but with tater tots. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, y'all, it is our third meal, and you know what that means. It's subby supper night. Today's subby supper was sent to me by Sydney, but she sent it on behalf of herself and of her sister, Hannah. She said they are both huge fans of my channel, but they're even bigger fans of the Gracie Lou fan club. <laughs> we'll start with Hannah, her sister. She works for a congressman on Capitol Hill and is engaged to her fiance, Seth, and they have plans to get married in April of 2022. And they have a rescue cat named Lulu. I love that name. And Sydney lives not too far out of Washington, D.C., and she is a retail and marketing manager for a food service company. Sydney lives with a roommate, James, and she said they cheer every time Gracie Lou comes on camera. Sydney also has a cat named Stella that she rescued at seven weeks old on the side of the road. The recipe they are sending me, I think it's just called sausage penne, but it is one that they grew up with because their mom always made it. And then as they have grown up, they've learned how to make it as well. So thank you, Sydney and Hannah. I really appreciate your support of the channel. And then of course, for sharing a family recipe with us. It sounds so good, so let's do it. We're just gonna cut these peppers into strips. I've got a orange and a red, and then I'm gonna chop up some broccoli and also chop up one onion. Okay, so we've got our pasta water that's gonna come up to a bowl. I've got a large skillet here. I'm gonna turn it to medium high heat and we'll let it get hot before we add in our sausage. Okay, so we're gonna be using Italian sausage, the hot today. Obviously, if you don't like hot stuff, you can get the just the regular, the mild, or even maybe the sweet if that's what you want. I like hot stuff. I know you do. You talking about me? Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah. Now that our pan is nice and hot, I'm gonna add some olive oil to the bottom. So you want your sausage a little bit uh, clumpy, right? Clumpy? Yeah, clumpy. Is that what you call it? I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna do it too fine, right. but you don't want huge chunks of it either. This is probably about right. Okay, we're gonna add some salt to our water. And we're gonna use this whole one pound box of penne pasta. 
Now that our sausage has browned, if you have a ton of grease, you'll want to drain some of that off, but we really don't. So now we're going to add in our peppers and our onions. We're going to cook this for probably three to five minutes just to soften everything up. Okay, we're going to let this cook to al dente, but the last three or four minutes, we're going to add in all of our broccoli as well. Okay, this has been cooking for like five minutes. We're going to add in one cup of chicken stock. I'm going to bring it to a bowl, and then we're just going to turn it down to a low simmer. Okay, I'm going to turn it down. We're going to let this hang out until our penne is done cooking. We're almost to the point where we need to add in our broccoli. I'm going to add in my broccoli for the last four minutes or so. I'm glad I used my really big skillet, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna stir this around, and then we're gonna add in our last two ingredients, and it'll be time to eat. I've got half a cup of Parmesan cheese. and two thirds a cup of half and half. We're just gonna let all of this kind of heat through and then it's gonna be time to eat. Penne pasta. Oh, look at you being all proper. Penne. <laughs> what was the southern way? Oh, okay. We're very, we're very um, proper tonight. If I had a penne for every penne pasta I've ever had, <laughs> I wouldn't be too rich. No, nah, we don't eat that. it a whole lot. Mmm. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Lots of flavor in the sauce that's in there. Mm-hmm. And it's like packed in this broccoli. I love that you chose spicy sausage. Yes. Because it's got just a little bit of a kick in there. Yeah. And the sausage flavor and that sauce that's in there. Mm -hmm. And it's all in the pasta and soaked inside of the broccoli. It's really good. Yay. Really good. Very light. I love the brightness of the... I know. It's so pretty. Yeah. It's just so pretty. Well, Sydney, this is so good. It is not... When you hear pasta, you think heavy. Um, this is not heavy. This is light and fresh. I love all the fresh veggies in it. I love that the sauce is so incredibly light and there's not too much of it. It just keeps the whole dish just, I keep saying it, but light. It's not, it's not too much. This guy over here is so happy about it. Yes, I am. <laughs> this is really good. It is really good. I can see why this is one of your family's favorites for sure. This week's meals were out of this world. We were so impressed with every single one, and I hope that you'll give them a try. Let me know below which one you plan to try first. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Hit that red subscribe button below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Now bloopers. What color lipstick is that? <laughs> I don't know. It's Elf. I don't have my glasses on. Joyful Elf Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the color Joyful. Gracie, you ready? Ready to get this on? She's like, look, is there cheese? Grace, you saying there's gonna be some cheese? <laughs> no, there's not any right now. I made the mistake. In a little bit. In a little bit. Okay? What you got to say? <laughs> Tell me something. What Tell was you gonna say? Tell me something good. Here oh, it is. La la la. <laughs> la la la. Cue the uh, special music for Andy Noah. Oh. <laughs> One more to go. Ugh. 
Can't get tired. Call me the tin man. Tin man. Mm. Mm. What's this workout called? <laughs> Cheese, are you happy? Today's hubby stuff. Yeah, out! Be normal. Oh, nothing's happening. This be, is not be normal. On. Be normal. When am I normal? Never. Okay. But this is not recording. Just pretend like it's Oh, it's not? not. No, just pretend like it's not. Okay. No, no. Cool. Yeah. We're just buddies. Come on. Let's, let's be buddies. My buddy. <laughs> I love you. I, love I just you. want to film you. Why? Why not? You're interesting. Am I? You are. I don't think that I am. I want to get some of them good moments. I don't know what you're talking about. Just those good moments. Those nuggets in time that only a few people in the world get to see. Just just you a, and just like a handful of other people. Just a handful. We're not going to show 100,000 people. Oh, come on. No. They can't handle come it. Come on. They can't handle it. They can handle no, it. No. They, they can't. They can't. <laughs> they can. You can't. You can. <laughs> okay. Show me what you're working with. Hurry's getting hot. How would you say that if you were a Southern? Pan A. Penny. I'd say penny. Penny? <laughs> you want to have a little bit of penny pasta? Pinner. <laughs> yeah, add a little R on the end. Uh, a little penner. We got some penner pasta going on up in here. That's right. <laughs>